Hello and welcome. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land of where I am streaming from, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Sovereignty was never ceded in Australia. This was and always will be Aboriginal land. Hello, my name is Lisa Rose and I am Queer Screen Festival Director. Welcome to this interview that I am doing with the lead actor from Boy Culture. So I'm bringing him on. Here he is. Hello, Derek. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> Good. How are you? How 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 is uh how's life been for you in the last two years? As fun as everybody else? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's just been uh, about you know doing the best you can. So um, you know, I'm thankful that my my family's healthy. We I, I did get COVID. I got it um, in January of 2021. It wasn't it wasn't fun, but um, you know, we got through it and. You know, now I'm just happy that it seems to kind of be moving behind us, I think, hopefully. Hopefully. We've all got all of our fingers and toes crossed that we can yeah. hopefully have some uh, return to normal life. Um, so when did you shoot the, the um, this particular series? Uh, we shot it uh, in the fall of 2018. Oh, wow. So that's so very pre-pandemic. Yeah, 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 it was. It, and so um, post-production took quite a while. It did, it did. I think, um, yeah, I think, you know, they just needed to kind of, you know, everyone is, is doing this as a, as a labor of love. And so it was, yeah. you know, you know, kind of putting all the pieces together in terms of posts, I think took longer than, than anyone would have liked and it normally does. But uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it definitely bled into the pandemic. I was doing ADR, uh, I think in May of 2020. So yeah, right. Uh, yeah. So it's definitely like a pre pandemic into pandemic kind of. Both, a, both kind worlds. Of both yeah, worlds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so how have you found the experience of obviously, I imagine you probably haven't been able to watch it with too many live audiences, which is a shame. Um, but have you been, has there been a few that you've been able to go to? Like yeah. How's that experience been? Yeah, it's been amazing. It's, um, you know, it, it, it started in, uh, on the West Coast at Outfest and it was great. It was great to see it there um, live and in person. Um, you know, it's not, it wasn't as full as I think it would normally be because it was still, it was, uh, I don't know how many months ago that was, but, you know, uh, it was still kind of um, iffy to be out yeah. in public like that. I mean, you were, yeah. everybody was vaccinated and you couldn't get in without vaccination, but it was great to see it on the big screen. We only screened a, a couple of episodes at Outfest mm -hmm. and then uh, I went to um, film out San Diego yeah. and there we screened the entire series. So that was the first time that I saw and it was a packed house. And it was the first time we saw it um, as a whole all together. And it was just awesome. It was, yeah. It was it's, awesome. it's really interesting, actually. There has been, like, it's played, like, pretty much all, all the queer film festivals. But there's a lot mm -hmm. of them have only played, like, one or two episodes. And, you know, there's, only, there's not that many have played the whole lot, which I think is a shame because I love totally the, whole, the whole thing. Is, yeah. Is I uh the I one of the things I really like about it is it's really nice balance between um like humor and and drama and like mm -hmm. that it that each episode obviously kind of tackles kind of a pretty serious issue um mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's real kind of uh heart but humor like it's like it it doesn't like take the piss out of it for one of a better right. but it like right. it's yeah and like the <laughs> As a lesbian, the episode with the lesbians is hilarious. It's great, yeah. It, uh, it's definitely one of my favorites, without a doubt. It's, it's so good, and it and it's like I think it is probably going to be. You know, um, I I'm picturing that most of the audience that are going to watch our gay men, and it might be an eye opening thing for them because I don't think they realize that there are actually a lot of a lot of queer women who do enjoy watching gay male porn. <laughs> yeah. Say no, yeah. I, wonder, I know that I know for a fact that there are a lot, <laughs> right? Um, and it's so it is, it is. I just and it was just, it was just really funny. I found that episode really hilarious. Yeah, it, it uh, that episode is uh, came together so well. It was, um, it was a, a, a real um, pleasure, surprise, and pleasure that it came out as good as it did. It was like, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be good, I didn't realize it was going to be as good as it came out, and that was just exciting to see. Yeah, and so. Obviously, the original, like the 
from my understanding, this story mm-hmm. is basically, and these characters have basically existed for about 25 years and that they, they started yeah. as like uh, a short story and then became a novel and, and then became the film that you starred in, in, was it 2006 or 2007? Yeah, 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 exactly. And then so th- that film was obviously a, a really big film and it did the whole festival circuit. And can yeah, you talk yeah. a little bit about your kind of ex- the, the difference between that sort of experience and, and now, like how, how it's kind yeah. of Yeah, um, you know, that was, I was pretty, um, I just kind of graduated from from CalArts, which is where I went to school in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, I was working, but this was sort of my first lead role in, in something. And I thought the script was just extremely well written. And uh, the, the the process of, of shooting, we shot it in Seattle, which is where the, the, the feature takes place and the book takes place. And then mm-hmm. the characters move to Los Angeles, uh, as, yeah. as you know, in the series. Um, and you know, it was, it was a blast. And I think, you know, the, the filming felt really smooth and I think everybody was really connected and it felt really cohesive. So I think we felt like we had something special when we were, when we were shooting, uh, we didn't know what exactly. And then, um, the first time I saw it was it premiered in the United States at the Tribeca Film Festival. And, uh, I was just, I was you know, I couldn't have been happier. I just think, uh, you know, it was just such a great um, cast and crew and, and everyone just, just gave it their all. And I, I was, uh, you know, blown away by by um, how good it was. And, um, you know, I think it was, it was over at a hundred festivals and, um, you know, and, you know, got distribution and it was just, yeah, it was a really exciting time. And I think, you know, at, at that time, um, queer cinema. I think you know. I I feel like the film pushed the boundaries in a certain sense of of like of of creating a narrative that's more grounded. I guess mm-hmm. you could say. You know. And I think that um, before that, it was a lot. You know, there's a lot of kind of like. And listen, Alan, who's the director, who I adore, has done some you know great, funny um, films like Eating Out yeah, and, yeah. and different things like that. But this was something that was a lot more kind of grounded, and and I think a lot of people connected to it because they felt like, um, you know, it was real life. And um, while obviously my character is a, a, a you know a male hustler, um, it's about a love story. And yeah. um, it, you know whether you're gay or straight or w- whatever your preference is, I think that that's something that that anybody can connect to, and I think that that really resonated and came across strongly in the film. And and now in the series, um, you know, it, it's it's ten years later, mm. and uh, and we've moved from 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 Seattle to Los Angeles, and Daryl uh, Daryl who plays Andrew in the film. Um, and I, we, we live together, but we're no longer together, um, as a couple. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is a, this is a different journey. It's, it's interesting because in the film, he's, uh, X is a, you know, uh, an escort that is by referral only, and he makes a ton of money and, um, it's, it's, it's very kind of low key. And 10 years later, when he decides that he has to get back into hustling because it's sort of what he, he he's good at and what kind of all he really knows how to do, and I guess kind of wants to do, yeah. um, everything has changed. And everything, yeah. as we know, everything has changed in the world quite dramatically from when the film came out to, to when we shot this. So, you know, X has to um, adjust to life in 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 current times and what that means being a hustler. So from social media and, and kind of the need to, to accept that, which is definitely not part of X's character or his demeanor. That's the last thing he wants to do to having a pimp. I mean, all these things are, could, they couldn't be further from, from what the journey was like in the film um, to what it's like in the show. And, and I think that's what makes the show so um, so strong, in my opinion, is that it's it's super honest, and you know each episode I think is really relevant, and uh, you know you know while you were right in saying that it, it's sort of it's a blend of comedy and drama, um, you know they all have a, um, a the, the evolution, especially X's evolution through the through the through the through the season is is one of kind of like fighting fighting accepting um and then you know realizing 
what he really wants at the end. And, and unfortunately, you know, you don't always get what you want. Now, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, from, like I said, from, you know, from having to create a profile on rent, on rent boy to, to, uh, to, you know, uh, going to cosplay, uh, events to like, these are, these are things that if, if you, you know, when you, when you see the feature, they couldn't be further from X's demeanor. I mean, he's just like this guy who doesn't even drink bottled water that served to him because who knows what, you know, someone could have done something to the bottle and he has to kind of let that stuff go, which I think is very difficult for him and kind of find a way to accept how things are now. And I think that that's done really well in terms of the writing and on this, it was written by Alan and Matthew who wrote the book. Um, yeah. Whereas the feature was written by Alan and and Philip, one of the key producers on the film, and I think Matthew's touch on on the season really elevated things, and I think really brought um, a lot of the the humor. Um, and they're 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 great together. Um, so, yeah, and you know, I, I I really feel that 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 you know, each episode really builds upon the previous one, and that they really do deal with with relevant themes that, that I think people are going through today. And that's what I think is so, so cool about it. Yeah. And I think it's that really sort of, uh, it's almost like an interesting kind of narrative device. So the fact that you're picking up these characters and you can, like you say, you can see that growth and that change because he's been out of the game and then he's back. And so, you know, cause obviously it's like, it's not often that you, uh, you have a sequel, um, so to mm -hmm. speak, like mm -hmm. so far apart, like it's you're almost as far apart as the latest Ma Matrix movie. So right, that's, <laughs> that's like, God. That's almost true, isn't it? That's yeah, crazy. and so it's that thing of like, you know, you, it, the thing that I really loved about it was that it like it it feels really modern, even though it's mm -hmm. characters that have been you know existed and and were back in in the world has moved on from kind of what was happening back then. Like the the whole the whole story, the whole everything about it is is very modern and very now mm -hmm. and dealing with. Um, like you're saying, all these things that he's just not used to, whether the, and whether it is like technology or just process or just you know kind of what's acceptable in, in the world now. And uh, yeah. yeah, and I really and so I have like people who watch the films for me uh, mm -hmm. as well, and it's a really diverse range of people of men, women, and and all that. And like everyone loved it. They were just like it's just really engaging and fun. And I think it caught particularly the women. I think it caught them by surprise how much they enjoyed it and they were just like it was just fun and really I really enjoyed it and so, that's yeah, great it is, that's great it is great it is great so um how like how long was the pro like obviously you said you shot in 2018 but then mm -hmm. like how long was the idea like germinating that it was there was more to tell of these characters and like and where, at what point oh. was involved yeah I mean it, it was pretty early on um after we finished the feature that there was discussion of 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 a series and i think i i started kind of talking to alan philip and steven about it i want to say like maybe 2013 in that area and they had already been kind of kind of they'd already spent time thinking about it and and were definitely uh, working on it. I think it was, a, it took a long time to kind of manifest. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, you know, we just kind of stayed in touch and, you know, I was very adamant about feeling like this, this, this should be made into a, a show and that I could really see it, you know, being on, on TV because I, I don't think there's anything like this on TV right now. And, um, or when we first started talking about it, frankly, I think it's really cool that like, even though, we first started talking about it back then and I read the script, which did change a little bit, I think in 2017. And then we shot it in the end, the end of 2018, we're in you know, the start of 2022 and it still feels just as relevant. It's not, it's not dated yet. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been, you know, um, a part of, for me at least, you know, almost nine years. I didn't like officially get it attached myself until, you know, a few months prior to shooting, but I knew about, about the, the sort of idea of a, a sequel or a series um, several, just a few years after we finished the film. And was it just like, you know, there was, it was a no brainer for you to be like, I totally want to 
I totally want to do this. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. There was no question for me. I mean, I, I, um, you know, I, I, I loved playing X in the film and I felt like this was even more of a stretch for me as an actor um, because X is a very um, reserved person. And I mm -hmm. think uh, that's not hard to tap into, but in the, in the, in the film, he's able to kind of really carry that, that reserved persona where he kind of holds everything inside um, for really pretty much the entire film until, you know, close to the very end. And I think here X is forced into situations that, that make him more vulnerable um, than, than the film did in certain ways. And I think that I found to be extremely appealing as an actor, not to mention just, just what, again, thinking about thematically what, what was going on in each episode and, and the arc of all six of the episodes, I found it to be, you know, um, just really beautiful, to be honest. I, I think I just I just really felt like, you know, I read it as one. I read it kind of mm -hmm. as though it was it was a feature and it just read um, it was funny. And it was just it was just it felt, again, very relevant to where we are today. And it made mm -hmm. sense in terms of where what X's trajectory would be. And, um, you know, yeah, I just think. It just, um, it was extremely exciting and, and, you know, in some ways more more demanding than, than the feature was. I mean, they both were, um, but I, you know, listen, this is just a, a character and a family that I, I love, um, the filmmakers and, 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 you know, it's just basically the same group and, and Daryl and, and, um, and these are people I love and they're really like family to me. And, um, you know, I would play this character if I could for, you know, the next 10 years. Yeah. Well, do you know, like, obviously the, the series, like it, there's kind of some stuff that sort of happens towards the end where it mm -hmm. kind of ties up, but sort of not like there is obviously more that you could probably tell about this story. Like, do you know if there's, is there plans? Like, and I want to continue. This? There is, there is. Yeah, there is. Cool. That's yeah. good. Well, yeah. Thank you that 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 can happen because uh right. it's yeah I, yeah and i think it is that um i feel like the the world is probably more ready for this kind of story to be in an episodic time of, of and to be consumed like you say like um the the type of stuff that is getting made and and put on like streaming services and, and tv is is very different from what it was back when it was perhaps yeah. ahead of its time of the type of stuff that was um willing to be funded and made and things like that so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my fingers and toes are crossed for you that you get to continue to play yeah and I really like it's such a he's such an interesting character like like you say like, the, like I just mm -hmm. it's like he's 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 just, but he's also just he's so funny like he's just so dry and so dry yeah so, yeah. Dry. so it, dry yeah it's like it's yeah, the driest wit you could possibly, and I just the delivery of some of the lines that you do is just like, it's, it's just so funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, it's it was great too because I, I I feel like I was lucky in the sense that I hadn't lost the character. You know, it, it'd been t ten years since we, eleven years since we shot the feature, and I, I I you know we had a table read a couple of days before we started shooting, and it was just it was like immediate. You know, it was just like the character hadn't gone anywhere in my body or, you know, in my soul. It was just right there, ready to drop in and, and, and get into it. So, you know, I, I, I was lucky in that sense. And it also just kind of, um, you know, it just flowed. So yeah. it just felt, it felt really natural, you know. And, I, yeah, and I think in the series, it's just, there's a, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit more lighthearted. I mean, not that the film is like, super serious uh you know there's serious elements but like there is more kind of comedic elements going on in in the series and i think it's to to keep you know to to sort of give that episodic feel and and bring levity to to these you know wild situations that x is having to put himself in uh, yeah. to to pay the bills you know yeah um so so i you know i just think it's it's a it's a blast
Yeah. Well, maybe when you make it the next one, it's going to have to be called man culture. Um. <laughs> right. That's 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 right. That's that's very true. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, man I culture. Like that. That's a, I like a that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now I've, I've gone from being the kind of hot, hot guy in his 20s to being a, a, a daddy. Yeah, you know, that's, that's that's a big, big thing in the in this in the series, which was a, a pill to swallow, you know, yeah. <laughs> a pill yeah. to swallow. But, um, you know, obviously, I, 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 I embraced it fully. <laughs> Good. I'm yeah. glad. I want to thank you so much for joining me to talk about uh, boy culture. It's it's a really wonderful series, and um, I am sure that uh, people can watch it who haven't seen the original film and get so much totally. out of it. You don't need to. And then the people who are reconnecting with the characters are just going to love it as well. Absolutely. So it's screening in cinema, uh, and we're also uh, screening on demand until March the third. And then fingers crossed, you get to make more, and we can watch fingers it. Fingers crossed in the future. Um, thank this you so great. much, Eric. Thank you for having me.